Okay, we're going to learn how to put the trombone together today. We're going to learn how to hold the trombone correctly. We're going to learn a few things about maintenance, things to keep in mind as you're taking care of your trombone. We're going to play a note or two, and we're going to put the trombone away properly. So, we want to talk about putting it together first. So I've got my trombone case in front of me. Uh, I'm going to set the trombone case down and keep the case on the floor. And what are, most of our trombones have a few latches, so undo the, the latches first of all, and just open the case wide so the trombone is laying in front of you here. Okay, keep that case kind of flat on the floor. Okay, what do I pick up first? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the slide. And I think all of us know what the slide is, that's long section. So I'm going to pick up the slide, and the way we want to pick the slide up is find the two braces. So we want to grab the slide by the two braces like this. So I'm going to lift that section carefully out and set that in front of me like this. Okay. On one of the slides, there's a lock. Okay. And that slide should be locked if, unless the person forgot to, to lock it the last time it was played. So right now that should be in the lock position so that if you try to, to pull the two braces apart, it's locked. So that's the way it should be. Keep the slide straight up and down like this and carefully find a mouthpiece. Okay, a mouthpiece is going to be in some compartment like this. Carefully pick that mouthpiece up and we're going to bring that up to the slide. Okay, it might fit in either section here. So we're looking and the, the mouthpiece is going to go into the lower section like that. I'm going to set that mouthpiece in there and just give it a little twist to the right. Okay, if that mouthpiece gets stuck, uh, I don't want you ever doing anything except using your hands to take the mouthpiece off. Okay? If you can't twist it off with your hands, see if mom or dad can get it off with their hands. Never use any kind of a pliers or anything like that to take it off. Uh, then, at that point, if you still can't get it off, bring it to school. Your band director will have a special tool to get that mouthpiece off. Real careful, be careful with that. So I've got the mouthpiece and the slide put together. Now I'm going to reach down and find the bell section of the trombone. Okay, and I like to grab this, the, the trombone right around the main part of the trombone. I'm lifting it up. I'm going to set the bell section right on top of that other extension here and make sure it's all the way down. And then while I'm holding the bell section on there, I'm going to twist the two pieces together slightly here. Okay, I'm going to move our case out of the way here. Okay, now I've got that trombone. The slide is on the right side. So the mouthpiece and slide are over to the right. And the bell's over here on the left. And what I want to do now is turn the bell towards the slide. And a good rule of thumb is if you put two fingers between the slide and the bell, that's about how far the bell should be away from the slide. Okay, and then I'm going to twist that a little bit tighter. So that's what our trombone looks like at this point. We've got it just straight up and down in front of us. Okay, now, how do we hold this thing? Okay, what I'd like you to form your finger with, with my left hand, I'm going to form this shape. We've got my thumb and index finger. If you look at your hand, it's going to look like an L. So I've got my thumb, first finger, and these three fingers are kind of down. And what I'm going to do is my thumb is going to go over this cross brace, my three fingers are going to grab on to the slide, and my first finger is going to go right over the mouthpiece. Okay? If that finger doesn't reach, I can twist the trombone just a little closer together and hold it like that. Sometimes if that first finger isn't long enough, we might tuck it underneath like this. Okay? I get in a habit sometimes of putting my pinky underneath and hold that slide. Okay? And just in case the slide isn't locked, that's kind of a, a safety measure. But you can hold it like this too. Okay, as I pick it up, though, I'm, I'm nervous that the slide might be, might be unlocked. So I'm picking it up and, okay, it's, it's locked, so I'm in pretty good shape. There's a slide lock here I mentioned. So we're going to turn that slide lock and so we unlock the slide so it moves. As you can see, if I'm holding that slide with my pinky, it's not moving. Okay, as soon as I grab, I'm going to bring my right hand up now and grab the slide with my thumb and fingertips. Okay, and the, you don't want to put your whole fist like this, otherwise we might hit the bell when we're playing. So it's just going to be the thumb and fingertips as I hold the slide. 
I, I tend to put two fingers on each side of the slide, two fingers here, two fingers there, and then I grip the thumb. Some students will put all the fingers together and just move the slide like that. So that's not important, just so, so that you're using the thumb and the fingertips. Okay, holding position of the trombone. We're going to bring the, the trombone up, and this is where you need to be careful that you're not sitting right next to a wall. When I bring the trombone up, part of the trombone is going to go behind me. And if I'm not careful, if I go real fast, I could hit the back of the trombone and you'll put a dent in the back of the trombone. We don't want to do that. We want our trombone to stay looking nice and shiny. Okay, so we're bringing that trombone up and pretty much level. Okay, now to make a sound, I'm going to just make a beginning sound. As, we've, as we're, we blow on the mouthpiece, we're going to form our lips in this way. It's like saying the letter M. I say the letter M. I keep the lips together and try to, when I blow air, I'm going to keep the corners firm. <laughs> keeping the corners firm so the cheeks aren't puffing. I'm going to bring that mouthpiece right against my lips. Now I'm going to try to blow a tone. <laughs> Trying really hard while I'm buzzing my lips to keep the corners firm so I'm not puffing my cheeks. <laughs> if I relax my lips, <laughs> then we can get a lower sound too. Okay? All right. So, a couple of things about taking care of the trombone. Uh, trombone's kind of simple. We don't have a lot of buttons. And we don't have any buttons. We just have to worry about our slide. That's our main thing, to keep the slide working really good. So, what you need to do on a, a pretty much a daily basis is oil the slide. Okay? So, what we're going to do to oil it, most of you should have just a, a little a uh, bottle of slide oil, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cap off and then just keep that trombone in the upright position. I'm going to just lift up the trombone here and I'm going to put the bottle right up against the slide and I'm going to squeeze just a drop in three or four different places. So I'm putting a drop here, I'm putting another drop there, and then I'm just letting the oil run down the slide. Okay, I'll set that bottle out of the way. And then lift up the slide and just work it like this. Move the slide up and down, and that's going to spread that oil. Okay? And I'll just put that cap back on. Make sure you put the cap all the way on before you put that oil away so it doesn't leak, leak out. Okay? The other thing you might need to do uh, as you're finishing up playing your trombone is by when you've been blowing water through your trombone, you're going to have an accumulation of water that's going to collect in the slide. And we have a special key here on the end. It's called a water key. Okay, and some of us call it a spit valve, if you will. And what you're going to do is walk over to a garbage can, press that spit valve, and just give it a little shake and some of that water will come out. So that's something else that you'll do before you're finished playing. Okay? I finished playing for the day, so we're going to be real careful, and there's a certain a couple things to keep in mind as you put your trombone away. The first thing I like to do is I tell my students to take, put the mouthpiece away first. We want to make sure that mouthpiece doesn't fall off the trombone and hit something. So I take that off. Again, if it doesn't come off, uh, you might need to bring it to school and have your director help you. So I just put the mouthpiece in the case. Okay, the next step is I need to unscrew the trombone. So I unscrew these two parts. And here we've got to be careful, instead of trying to put both parts away at the same time, I'm going to take the bell section first and carefully set that down. Okay, we want to be really careful with the slide. We don't want the slide to get bumped. That's uh, such an important part of the trombone. I'm going to make sure the slide is locked. Okay, we're done playing, so I'm locking the slide. And then, this section, again, I'm kind of holding onto the brace. The water key, uh, the braces that you're holding onto are usually on on the top part where the bell is, and the water key should be up, and that's kind of down on this far end here. So I'm going to carefully set that back into the case. This case has a little flap that goes over. Okay, and I'm going to close the case. And when you're done, when you're done playing your trombone, put it away. Don't leave it set in the room. Uh, there, it's a real 
uh, for little brothers and sisters, bigger brothers and sisters, maybe even a parent, it's really tempting for them to pick it up and try to play it. And if they don't know how to hold it, uh, they can damage it really easy. So always put your trombone in the case. And then when you're done playing, you're going to just set your case somewhere in the room so it's out of the way, so that no one is going to bump it, trip over it. And that's all for the playing. And then you're set to go for the next time you're ready to practice.